The plug is pulled on a planned grocery store in Goose Creek. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dean Stevens. And I'm Victoria Hansen. The decision came yesterday from the owners of the grocery chain. They notified the city of Goose Creek through email. ABC News 4's Eric Egan joins us right now with much more on how the neighborhood is responding. It would have been a new IGA grocery store along Highway 52. Homeowners in that area have been very vocal. They didn't want the new store. Now they're happy. They were heard. The 17 acres of land has been woods for decades. While other businesses and grocery stores sprang up, the trees here remain untouched. For the time being, it'll stay that way. It works. You know, we have government worked first time. Neighbors living on both sides of the property in the Braymore and Woodland Lake subdivisions showed up in force at recent Goose Creek City meetings to voice their opposition. Everyone listened, and especially the store owners and they're the ones that backed out. Wednesday, William Petrie expressed relief. W. Lee Flowers, the company that would have built this type of supermarket, decided otherwise. Petrie's backyard sits adjacent to where buyers were eyeing. It would have been a lot noisier. I got a privacy fence behind my house, so that would have, you know, and my neighbors, they, as soon as they heard about it, they put up privacy fences. We would have had more noise, a lot more noise, especially day-to-day -day noise at night. In recent weeks, more homeowners said the store wasn't necessary. They feared it could go out of business and leave a vacant building. Some thought it would increase traffic to dangerous levels. The property owner said he took all these things into account. Everybody gets used to it being woods, and I understand that. Uh, so anytime uh, any kind of development comes and, and people's neighborhoods are changed, they are in opposition to that, and I understand that. But the land will remain for sale, as it has for 30 years. You're not going to stop progress, okay? Something's going to go in there. We just don't know what. And to this point, the grocery chain has not given a clear-cut answer for its change of heart. Eric Egan, ABC News 4. All right.